Hello, my name is Harold. This is Tech on Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Brave browser on Windows 11. All right. Now, right off the top, I've got a couple of browsers already installed on here, but I find different people tend to like different browsers. My personal preference is actually Google Chrome, which is what I use for almost everything. But today I'm going to show you a browser that's really, really unique in the way that it works. It's called Brave Browser, and by default, it, has, it just has a bunch of built-in uh, security stuff, privacy stuff, a built-in... Um, advertisement blocker and stuff like that so in things like google chrome and stuff like that i would have to go find these plugins and install them in order to make it work but brave browser is unique in that it basically has all this ahead of time installed which makes it a really really awesome browser so let's go ahead and do microsoft edge because i find that's what most people end up starting out with so let's go ahead and double click on that let's open that up i'm going to go ahead and go to google.com we're going to search Brave, let's see if I can spell that right. Brave browser download. Let's do a search. All right, we're going to skip past these ads, which they do link to the same place, but uh, that's totally okay. We're going to go to the first actual link. Actually, uh, noted if I click on those, it will actually charge them for it. And I don't particularly want to do that. So let's just go down to this third link here. It's brave.com forward slash downloads. So let's left click on that. Let's go ahead and download Brave for Windows 64-bit, which is what this is, Windows 11 64-bit. Uh, you generally don't run into anything that's 32-bit anymore, so don't worry about that. But, all right, now I've got it downloading on the top right-hand side here. I can click on that once it's finished. Although what I always want to note is, is that if you don't have it, you don't see it, or you're not sure where it goes, most browsers tend to download to the Downloads folder here. Uh, so you can actually click on the... Uh, the uh, folders icon here, you can go click on downloads on the left hand side and you can launch it from here, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to double, click, double left click on that to start the install and then uh, go ahead and click yes. Now, just like from, it's going to open up the same general download installer thing or uh, prompt screen. Uh, it's going to take about two minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pause this. I'll come back with you in just a second once this has reached the end. So let's let it do its thing. All right, it looks like it is just about finished installing. Let's go ahead and give it a couple of seconds it needs. As I said, this is pretty amazing, something that my brother found and installed. He absolutely loves it. And for anybody who doesn't want to do the advanced setting up and stuff like that in Google Chrome and downloading plugins and getting everything set up, it's a great browser for just installing and getting a bunch of that just right off the top. Now, uh, generally speaking, if you're not using any other browsers, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and set the Brave browser as default. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that to show you how it looks. And it looks like that was pretty quick and easy. If by any chance you did that and you didn't want to, uh, you can actually click on search here and we should be able to go right to default apps. We'll go ahead and left click on that. We'll go ahead and go down to where it shows... Let's see, let's Microsoft Edge. Yeah, let's go ahead and do Microsoft Edge. You can see it changed these first two, which are basically, well, browser. And we're gonna switch it to Microsoft Edge. Um, I actually prefer Chrome and I may go back and later switch it, but I just want to show you what it will or what it was like switching that out. So let's go ahead and switch those to Microsoft Edge, but I still want still want the browser in exactly the same place. All right, a couple of neat features about uh, Google Chrome. Or, I'm sorry, not Google Chrome. This looks like Google Chrome, but it is most definitely not Google Chrome. Uh, Brave Browser, you can click on the top right-hand side, which looks a lot like Chrome. Uh, you can do things like browse your history, browse your bookmarks, uh, go to downloads. This has some integrated stuff, which kind of integrates with cryptocurrency. I won't get into that in this video, but I will tell you, you can also download extensions and stuff like that. And this thing is basically incredible because it's got so much privacy stuff. It's got so much uh, anti-adware stuff, which if you've never had a pop-up blocker, I just, I can't tell you how awesome it is. It's an incredible discovery. You can import stuff from your previous browsers and stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that and just go right to the front page. It will save bandwidth. It will save you from being tracked in ads and stuff like that. And it'll even do really tricky things like, like if I go to YouTube, It'll block the uh, advertisements, so I will get advertisement-less uh, YouTube videos. Not that I'm recommending that. 
guys that's pretty much it for this i thought this was really really neat i wanted to show you guys uh, if you have any questions or anything like that as usual feel free to leave it in the comments section otherwise guys have a great rest of the day